The fire broke out at this tourmaline gas plant that you see in here behind me beyond the tree line at around 6.15 in the morning. It was caused due to a broken fan, which a piece of that went through a radiator, igniting the blaze. Now, tourmaline oil secretary and general counsel Scott Kirker says at that point staff were evacuated from the facility as the flames continue the blaze on. It caught fire and then burned uh, some glycol that was nearby and then uh, it extinguished itself fairly shortly. So we had to bring down the compressor. This image shows the extent of the damage left by the fire and where the blade broke off. This one, the compressor that was shut down. Nope, nobody was injured. Uh, uh, nobody was nearby when it when it happened. And it was, I say, it was a uh, fire in a, in a in a fan, right near a fan blade and a radiator, so it's not a place that's occupied anyway. Kirker credits the automatic shutdown for putting an end to the fire. It's also why workers were able to continue working later that day. People were back in there within a couple of hours. The OGC showed up uh, quite quickly and uh, cleared it for uh, reoccupation. Gas was reintroduced into the other three compressors that were unaffected by the fire at around 11.30 that morning. Now, when CJDC reached out to the Oil and Gas Commission, they declined to comment, stating that an investigation is still ongoing. Reporting from the Tourmaline gas plant near Rolla, Christian Devino, CJDC TV News. Salon and barber services provided by Skinnovations. Be swept away to a world of peace and tranquility at Skinnovations Salon and Day Spa.